Hello everyone and welcome to a very special edition of our Basel 4 channel. Today we will not look so much at the technical details of the latest consultation papers, but instead focus on the tools that will allow you to calculate risk-weighted assets according to the Basel 4 proposals. The tool that we will look at right now is a calculation tool for the fundamental review of the trading book, namely the revised standardized approach for market risk. This tool, which I will show you in a second, is based on Microsoft Excel Access and allows you to calculate the risk-weighted assets according to the sensitivity-based approach, but also um, the new rules regarding default risk and the residual risk add-on. Before we go into the tool itself, let's have a look at the input file that we use to feed information in this tool. As you can see here, it is a very plain Excel sheet in which we input some of the hypothetical portfolios used by the Basel Committee for its quantitative impact studies to perform the calculations. You can see here that the tool requires sensitivities for the different risk classes such as credit spread non-securitization, credit spread securitization or the um, collateral trading portfolio, equity, commodity, FX rates, and so on and so forth. Um, and as I just said, these sensitivities have to be input by the bank using the tool itself. So we can assure that we use sensitivities already used within your institution so that all the effects or the increases in risk-rated assets are solely due to the battle committee proposals and are not caused by differences in sensitivity calculation. Now, I will close the input sheet and start our tool itself. As you can see, it is based on Microsoft Access, which allows you not only to go into all the calculations in very much detail, but also to adopt the tool very easily should there be new requirements, new parameters to be used in the future. The first step that we have to do when using the tool is enter the date of the calculation and select the base currency and then we can start by importing the information that I have just shown to you. What is important in this regard is that there are two input tables, the first one for the sensitivity-based approach and the second one containing information about the default risk. And once the data is imported, we can go through the different asset classes push the Calculate button and get the results, meaning the capital requirements for these asset classes. In some cases, when there is no input information available, we also get a short window showing us that no calculation took place due to lack of information on this specific positions. Here, once again, as you can see, we have not included any uh, commodities transactions, but for the rest of the asset classes or for most of the asset classes, we have information available. And then all you need to do is update the table and you will receive information on capital requirements according to the new sensitivity-based approach, but also with regard to default risk and the residual risk add-on. Once again, um, as I just said, it is a very easy to use tool. It's a very powerful tool as it contains all the correlation parameters, all the correlation formulas that are provided by the Basel Committee within its BCBS 352 consultation paper. And uh, also it will be easily adoptable should the EU implementation differ from these Basel rules. So if you have any further questions regarding this tool, do not hesitate to contact us either by visiting our Global Basel 4 homepage or by joining PwC's Basel 4 channel, where you can learn more about the latest proposals by the Basel Committee. Thank you.